whispers of an ancient tomb holding horrors in every room. Now, for us, um, we take free to play really seriously. And when, it, when we really thought about um, how much we wanted to charge for next Ramus and real money and gold, we really wanted to be possible for players who are determined to play for free to be able to do so in a reasonable amount of time. So, you know, first of all, out of the five wings of next Ramus, the first wing is free, and each wing costs 700 gold. And, you know, if you work diligently, you could get, you know, comfortably get 350 gold per week. So if you just work diligently for two weeks, you can get access to it for free. And you know, to us, that's really important. And I have a lot of players who you know talk to me that oh, I love Heart you know, Hearthstone. I've been enjoying Next Ramus. I've been you know accessing all of it for free with gold. And when I hear that, that's amazing. That's awesome. That's what we want because you know we think about Hearthstone as a long-term thing. Uh, I want to be working on Hearthstone ten years from now. I want to be playing Hearthstone ten years from now. Uh, we're not interested in optimizing short-term profit. We want to make sure we do right by the players and that players can enjoy the game how they want to enjoy it, paid or free. And you know, I think that's the right thing for the game when we come on to it. We don't want to make all the rules and we don't want to tell players how to play. Um, we want to give players different kind of uh, building blocks and tools and then watch them come up with creative new ideas. So, you know, when kind of the meta started forming and there were some, you know, let's say, you know, like, eight to 10, maybe 12 decks out there that became very popular. Uh, what we wanted to do was give tools that then lets those decks uh, you know, play differently with each other and also let brand new decks come and then beat some of the decks that maybe we have been you know, dominant. So uh, you know, it's not about invalidating uh, the content that was there before. It was really about giving players new tools to play with. Uh, we don't want to come in and go, oh, you're not allowed to play that way if that's the way you want to play. And so that's why you know, we're very reluctant to nerf or buff cards uh, because if you come up with a really clever idea and make it a really great um, you know, competitive deck, we don't, want to, we don't want you to wake up one day and go, oh, this great idea that I came up with just doesn't work anymore because half of my cards are less powerful than before. Um, what we want to do instead is if you came up with a very clever idea and perhaps, you know, let's say it's too dominant, that we want to then add new cards, which will be tools for other players to come up with a creative way to beat you. And that way, you know, you'll be then forced to adapt your ideas and change and so on and so forth. So, um, you know, it's, we really want to uh, kind of step away from trying to control the situation by buffing and nerfing and let players um, kind of create solutions to all of these puzzles by giving you guys the right tools. To us, the reason why we made Hearthstone was to share that love and fun that we have for collectible card game. Because, you know, collectible card game, there's a lot of misconceptions about CCGs. You know, a lot of people go, oh, it's too complicated, it's too hard to learn, it's too nerdy. Like, I don't, I don't want to be a nerd, I don't want to play collectible card games, right? And, and when we thought about that, and we thought about just how much fun and joy we get out, got out of collectible card game, we thought, look, we're going to sit down, and we're going to apply the Blizzard magic and you know, take, a, take a game that has a lot of misconceptions around it that people feel are too hardcore or unapproachable, kind of strip away the unnecessary complexity while retaining the strategic core, and then make a collectible card game for everyone. So, you know, to me, the fact that there is a renewed interest in collectible card game and that there are competitors out there making collectible card games as well, I think that's great. Uh, you know, all the time I run into people, they're like, oh man, I, I love playing Hearthstone, I've been, you know, it's been, a, it's been great, it's my first collectible card game, I never thought I would like collectible card games. Yeah, and to me that's like, that's awesome, you know, like, that's why I love working at Blizzard, you know, like, like all these 10 years of fun and joy I've had with my friends, now you get to experience it. And, you know, that's enough for us. And if there are more competitors out there that are making cool collectible card games, that's great. I think it's healthy for the environment. We have a dedicated mobile team, and they're working on it. Uh, our goal is to get Ender Tablet out before end of the year, and we're making very good progress. That's on track. Now, getting it onto a smaller phone is a different challenge because of the real estate. I think it's going to need a lot more design effort from us to uh, figure out ways to make Hearthstone a great experience, especially for new players on a handset. Uh, we're also trying to do that by the end of the year, but that will come after Android Tablet. As for consoles, uh, you know, like I said, the list of cool things we can do is really, really long. Uh, they're not currently in our top tier of things we're looking into.
sweet loot inside. Curse of Noxramas, a Hearthstone adventure.